Way not to do it, Rossi. With the team walking to the beach. You can see it over there. The sun is unobstructed. And it's going to be a lovely day. So we're going to Magic Sands Beach. Mahalo. Yes, so I'll holler at y'all when we get there. I think we're going to Are we eating first? Pokey Shack have a uh, veggie poke bowl and mine has kimchi, white rice, quinoa which is amazing the way they seasoned it and some seaweed salad right there. So I'm excited to dig into this. Uh, what do you call that stuff? The young got theirs. Corey and Kira. I tried to get her to warm up muscles. She was like, no. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. Murdering so <laughs> All right. So I thought I'd cut into my wife's blog or vlog to tell you guys about the time that I almost lost my whole team in Hawaii on this trip that you're watching right now. So she's probably going to put up the pictures and show you there's a beach called Magic Sands Beach. But it's known as Tragic Sands Beach to the natives in that area because at some point, all of the sand leaves and there's nothing but jagged rocks everywhere. So we go out there on an excursion uh, of sorts and uh, it's a beautiful place, by the way. And so I decide to venture off and go get in this water. But the entrance to this beach is a very difficult one because you gotta go off of this like cliff formation. And then the waves crash you into that cliff formation. And for a brief second, your life flashes right before your eyes. You feel like you're gonna die. But if you can get past that, it literally becomes a shallow part of the water and then you can walk on out there. So here I am out there and uh, I'm hesitating and this skinny, frail little girl comes running next to me and she says, what are you waiting for? There's no better time than now. Boom, and she jumps in the water. And so if you know me, you cannot challenge me. So I jumped in behind her. She was gone. I almost died, but I got out there. So now I'm hoping that my team is gonna come join me. And so I see them all starting to come off of this cliff and uh, Man, it is like the worst show you've ever seen. They are bashing up against the rocks. Corey beached up like a beach well onto the rocks. They're over here dying. Man, everyone's man down next to you know. I look back and they're all sitting on the shore. Like, I'm expecting them to come out and they're all sitting on the shore. No one came out. No one even attempted to come out from there. So I said, man, they must have really been spooked. So I'm yelling for them to come out. No one's coming out. And so Cornell starts inching his way to the shore on one side. I'm like, hey, CP, come on out here. Nope, doesn't come out. Next thing you know, he's walking to the other side. I'm yelling for him, doesn't come out. The guy never came out. The whole time I was there, I'm by myself out here exploring this beautiful water. I got sea turtles swimming by me and this whole freaking team of mine from a tragic experience on the entrance, they almost died, never came out. Man, I tell you, when you think you got certain people in your corner, you might wanna rethink who those people are because they all let me down that day. But man, it was a fun, fun adventure. So hopefully you know what that looks like now if you ever get a chance to go out there and hit tragic sands and be one of the brave ones like myself who made it out there because winners always find a way. All right, so let me tell you guys what really happened. <laughs> so he went out there, all that part was true. So then I dove in and I'm out there, I'm good. I'm, I'm feeling confident, I'm swimming. I already see the path, the lane, 
It was like, uh, you know, like Rick James saw the aura. I saw like a laser line beaming off the sun. I'm like, all right, this is cool. But I looked back and my woman was in distress. She looked like, like somebody just threw like a puppy dog inside of a pool and she didn't you know what, she was just looking frightened and terrified like she was about to die. So what kind of man would I be to leave my woman who is almost in, in harm's way and get drown? What kind of man would I be? That, I'm a gentleman. So I went back to try to save her, but then the waves are coming in and I'm pinned in between the rocks and the waves, but I was brave. I was like, I got this. So I came, pushed her up on the rocks, I looked back and there was a wave about to land on me and crush me in between the rocks. So I pushed up and I flew up in the air when the wave hit me like Spider-Man, landed on my feet on the rocks. And then I had to comfort her and take her back to the shore. And you know, I had to stay there with her because you know, I couldn't just leave her like that because it, it she almost lost her life. So in time of need, I needed to be there for my woman. And that was more important to me. That's what happened. Yeah, that part. We're taking the trolley to the next beach location. The one that we can actually swim at without dying. You already passed it. Never magic sands right after that. So I'm coming back, we'll get dropped off at magic sands and then walk to the thing. This is it? Thank you. Aloha. Snack wagon. I want some shaved ice. Got a shave ice with banana, vanilla, and strawberry. Strawberry, vanilla, and vanilla. banana. What? Yes, so good. The wow. vanilla, I love the vanilla. It's tasty, super tasty. Wow, wow, wow. Makes it creamy. Oh. to try out the soaking tub on the last night. This thing is so cute and a lot more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be. It's just a little round tub for one person. <laughs> The girls whooping the boys' ass. Wait, they got dying on the first game. First of all, you want to block some shit? Let's go there. Let's block that. They got dying on the first game. Let's go there. Wait, wait, wait. 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 Wait, wait, we about to grow. How many breads you got? Final morning in the house. My voice keeps going in and out. Time to start packing to head to Waikoloa Village Resort. So, so excited. But a little sad to leave our little home. But it's all good. We definitely have to come back here. This is the view from our room. We're over the dolphins. And then, look at this. Wow. All of these people are mine. This is my grand resort. Thank you.
doubt in their mind. These people are all mine. Yes. Welcome to my resort, people. King Peralta. You got Butterfly issues. Luggage, peasants. Please stop recording me. <laughs> it is sacred ground. <laughs> you can record. You can get fined ten thousand dollars. You look good in that robe, babe. Recording me. Thank you. <laughs> you what kings wear? Is it? This peasant. Is this your? Oh, I'm a peasant. Please I thought stop. I was the queen. Stop recording me, peasant. <laughs> Please move on. How would I go from queen to peasant? Go grab me some food. How about that? <laughs> well, you can put your clothes on, and we can go get some food and a necklace. I have my clothes on. This is how I will be traveling. You're going to walk around the hotel like this day, whole time? Okay. <laughs> this is what I live with, guys. I mean, breakfast in our first session. And here's my vegan breakfast. Vegan Hawaiian breakfast. I'm about to tear it up. You go up and down. <laughs> quick, yeah. I'm yeah. just happy I got the op that same day. Yeah, I got it the next day. Are you doing Thursday? All the comments go through the night. They just started. Yeah. Let me film it in case the dog. Oh, Lord. Hello. <laughs> She's got a friend. You got a friend. Look behind you. <laughs> you didn't have to pay for oh, it. Oh, they're either. coming for you, bro. Oh. I can't believe they like great whites in here. Am I in a pen with them? Yes. yes. You are. <laughs> Oh, why would you pay for swimming with dolphins? You could do it for free. <laughs> up, up next, up next. Hey, Jason, throw your hat in there. Throw your hat in there. We're about to swim with dolphins. If the sharks, I'd be worried about. <laughs> That's what I am worried about. <laughs> <laughs> that dolphin came over here like, what? Yeah. Yeah, You're in the wrong place, homie. <laughs> I'm gonna give you one warning. Then I'm getting my homies. <laughs> These stairs are the bane of my existence. But we'll just chalk it up to exercise for the baby. <laughs> Even though coming up them make my lungs wanna burst. <laughs> you know, we're just driving backwards in a bus. That's all. Me and Jenny Pie. We're going to Lava Lava first. <laughs> There's our shuttle from the hotel to Lava Lava. Sorry about that, guys. What is that? I feel like a five mile job. Just like uh, whites. I'm gonna run back. Walking into the Primerica Luau. We'll to get some good food, hopefully. Hopefully the vegan options are abundant. 
They're like, oh, they think they're gonna get drunk. What a bunch of losers. Oh, thank you. They've got one of these Diana's version. Hey, so, uh, I have to go to the bar to get a virgin.